Well, tonight, the Senate advanced the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure spending bill to the House. Some Democrats are waiting for an additional spending measure before voting. That multi-trillion dollar budget package looks at the human aspect of infrastructure. LEX 18's Mike Valenti recently spoke with Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, who helped craft this legislation. And today he takes a look at one of the pieces in the bill, immigration reform. It's tonight's big story at 530. The Democratic Party this week introduced the $3.5 trillion budget resolution, with Senator Bernie Sanders calling it the most consequential piece of legislation since the New Deal of the 1930s. Now, congressional committees are tasked with crafting the actual legislative text. For example, the resolution instructs the Senate Judiciary Committee to spend $107 billion to provide lawful permanent status for qualified immigrants, as well as money on border security. And it gives me goosebumps. It, it's a really emotional because we see the most hardworking, um, very wonderful individuals in this community who've been here for 20, 30 years, and they're not even able to open up a bank account. They can't drive down the street um, without being worried that they're going to get pulled over. This would be life changing. Although the specifics of the legislation have not been ironed out, Lexington immigration attorney Heather Hottie says upwards of 8 million people could be guaranteed a pathway to citizenship including hundreds of thousands of people who came to the U.S. at a young age and are temporarily shielded from deportation. They're known as DACA recipients or DREAMers. Now that um, the majority was given to the Democrats, they need to act on passing this legislation. They have all the power. Now they just need to act. Like many DACA recipients, Jose Nino has lived in a state of uncertainty, not knowing whether he'd be able to renew or if the program would be scrapped altogether. According to the American Immigration Council, as of March of 2020, 2,710 active DACA recipients lived in Kentucky, while DACA has been granted to more than 3,200 people in the state since 2012. The situation has become even more urgent, given that a judge last month ruled DACA to be illegal. They are in between a rock and a hard place. And what this reform bill is proposing is why don't we allow the DACA recipients to go ahead and adjust status um, to become a legal permanent resident. But so during our interview, Hadi made sure not to gloss over the undocumented immigrants outside of the DACA program, temporary protected status holders, farm workers, and other essential workers. In a press release announcing the budget resolution yesterday, Senator Sanders said, quote, we will bring undocumented people out of the shadows and provide them with a pathway to citizenship, including those who courageously kept our economy running in the middle of a deadly pandemic, end quote. Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.